Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly advise you to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live. We will be covering uh, three type of different automated to trade or four. Uh, this is uh, the signal on the left upper corner. This is the market analyzer. It gives you the entry target and it gives you uh, the number of tick and as you see here on the scalper, now there is a new signal coming up. Uh, this is the 15 second chart. This is the one minute chart. On the 15 second chart, it just fired the signal as an example on the YM. As you see, this is uh, the trade coming from the YM. Uh, the trailing stop is uh, based on a FIB and uh, it's not a, just a dummy trailing stop. And, um, um, you can use a 15 second and uh, you can use uh, one minute, you can use two minutes, three minutes, whatever you want. You can use one contract, you can use as many contracts as you want. On this signal here, there is five different automated trade. Uh, signal, signal entry, ATM strategy, fully automated and uh, two based on retracement, pullback, re-entry. This is one type of an auto trade. Now we want to go to a different type of an auto trade. On the precision, this is uh, our latest uh, release on uh, an auto trade. It's a new auto trade. We released it uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice auto trade, a trading with the trend and a reversal in the same time. And uh, it can be used on any kind of different time. You can use it on rank, Ranko as well, but I don't use Ranko. But I will show uh, the range that takes. But uh, sure, I can show the Ranko uh, next time. Uh, it works on a Ranko as well. Because a trade with a trend and a, a reversal, all of them on a $1,000 target and uh, this is an ES9 range and um, if you look uh, this is this is the 230 takes there is hardly any losing trades any losing trade actually um, I like the YM um, I find the YM uh, is a little bit more uh, less uh, noises than the uh, Nasdaq actually and uh, lately that's how it is the market the market change every other week but um, hardly any losing trade we have one small losing trade here but uh, it's always consistent and this is uh, the also all of them on $1,000 ES on the five minutes today uh, took the first trade and now we are going on the second one and uh, also on a thousand dollar trade uh, daily target but when the auto trade is going to your direction it's gonna stay and this is your five minutes you can it doesn't matter about the PNL but you can see immediately from the entries and exit is very well tuned uh, this is uh, the YM again, the YM two minutes. I mean, uh, we're about to close all of them right now. This is again the YM. I, I, I don't know, I like the YM for auto trading, not manual trading, but I like the YM. Actually, I start liking the YM better than uh, NASDAQ on an auto trade. In the, the NASDAQ, there is a lot of fast movement. And um, the YM still, in a way, connected to the ES. And uh, still, there is more stability in it. Uh, this is an ES three minutes. Still in the trade. This is ES five minutes. It's the same auto trade. It's the precision automated to trade. CL, if you want to swing trading, uh, this is the CL based on 12 range. Uh, we have the CL on the one minute. Also, there is no losing trade today. 
on the CL. Beautiful. NASDAQ, three minutes. Uh, our daily target, 1,000, and it hit 1,000. Uh, and it was done on the, f when we started, we started around nine, nine o'clock on the NASDAQ, and it took one trade, it was done. Uh, it was done before even 10 o'clock. It's nice when they are done before 11 o'clock. Uh, this is why M24 seconds, which I mean, there is not too many auto trades can work in seconds. And this is 24 second, 1860. Uh, 39 ticks, second on the NASDAQ. And wh why the seconds? Because when uh, we noticed after all those years, there is some traders cannot read the market when uh, the market is flat and it's not moving. Auto trades require the market to move. So when they go on a lower time frame, they still can a little bit survive better than a higher time frame. So for a guy who cannot read the market, if um, a flat market, I mean, I prefer to go on a higher time frame if you know how to read the market before you start auto trading. But also in a second, when the market is a bit flat, they they do a good job, actually. And um, the DAX. And uh, the best trade for today was the gold, actually, on the 370 ticks. It was a beautiful one shot, 4,720 one shot and this is, was the best trade for today I really like the way that trade turned out here the DAX and uh, if you like range also the CL on the range is very good actually and this is again you can see you know, sadly, people look at the dollar and the PNL, which I, I don't care about that too much because one day, if the market move, you you're not. I mean, you know, it depends on the market movement about PNLs. But when um, I'm looking at the chart, I'm not looking at the fourteen hundred because, like, if the gold made today four thousand seven hundred, does not mean tomorrow is gonna make four thousand seven hundred. I don't know how much it will make tomorrow. Could be 100. I don't know. It could be losing tomorrow. I don't know. But what I, when uh, when when you are looking at the auto trade, it's not the PNL. It is how many winning trades. This is the matter. Is if this auto trade survivable or not? how many losing trades and how many winning trades because that's reality and um, and as you see the consistency on the CL because the CL goes well with the 6 or 8 range you know uh, the 8 range is a standard for most of the future market but 6 range it is an idea for the, uh, the CL and you can see uh, it is overwhelming how accurate, breaking even, taking a profit. It is a very, uh, this, the trades here, means a lot more than 1400. And then uh, uh, we have also the CL here, five, 3000. We have the CL also, we, we can use the CL which most of the auto trades they fell on the seconds but on the second they can catch a few trend, uh, trades at f nice trends and this is there we go nice very nice and uh, the the precision can calculate to trade with the trend and then reverse and this is an example 
look at this trace on the NASDAQ, took it with the trade and then reverse it. It was a perfect reverse. And that is gorgeous. You know, this is what it make you really um, pleased with it. Uh, let me uh, look at, uh, we're going to bring uh, the different auto trade, the TI-7. It's a total different automated trade. Let me show you before we jump on the other auto trade. Those when we first started, we were covering uh, uh, the market analyzer and uh, those the signal automated. Uh, the Nasdaq just closed the trade and it was target hit. And also the ES target hit, but I extended the target to 42.92. And uh, this is really good. And the, I'm going to leave the YM as is, so target is going to be a hit very soon on that one here as well. The TI-7 uh, for Ninja Trader 8, it is uh, a big auto trade. Uh, it's not like this one here. This one here is a bit simpler, very effective. The TI-7 has a different... Uh, type of an entry has around 10 different type of an entry you can approach the market in a scalping mood and in, um, um, in a swing trading mood and uh, we can uh, use range takes this is a, a range Nasdaq but if we look at this in the CL as an example on 49 second we are scalping it and here we are swing trading. So you can do both CL, NASDAQ, gold, DAX. And um, the things is with uh, the, the TI-7, why it has 10 different entries because what it works on the ES does not mean it's going to work on the NASDAQ or on the DAX. So you have a three type of scalper in it. And then you have the swing trading in it. And then uh, and you can reverse in it. Um, it has a symmetry in it. So you can reverse the market. You can activate one or two or three entries or four entries and whatever comes first, it will take that trade. So this is something um, lately what we've been doing for uh, beginners. We are now we are putting everyone new on an auto trading or he has been auto trading and he has not been having luck. Um, he got the wrong auto trade from somebody else. That's fine. But what we are now doing stand before we try to train guys to go directly on the TI-7. The TI-7 is big, but now what we are doing, we, after we do the installation, we show him he have over 10 auto trades in his package. Then we tell him to start here. And it is a very friendly use to start here to understand the concept, when to start auto trade, when to stop auto trade, how we look at the market analyzer before we auto trade. As an example, we want to see the NASDAQ ES and YM in sequence in one direction before we want to auto trade anything. If this market, when you start in the morning and it's not in sequence, the YM, NASDAQ, and ES is not going in the same direction. You need to hold on to your auto trade for another 5-10 minutes until they are in sequence and they are going in the right direction. This just by looking at the market analyzer before you start auto trading, that will cut your risk by 50%. So we want this guy not to just where is the button switch on and now we are flying to the moon. We want this uh, trader to learn the basic, how to manage an auto trade, when to start the auto trade, 
what is the risk in the auto trade, when the auto trades makes money and when the auto trades lose money, what is the market condition. So when he is auto trading, he is an educated about the market. Uh, uh, driving an auto trade without education, it is a lose-lose situation. Uh, and uh, most of those auto traders, they think, just turn on the auto trade and turn off the brain off. And uh, it's not, it's very far from the truth. Uh, people do not say this because uh, that can spook the, the guy wanna, uh, for marketing, this is a spooky story, you know. But in the reality, uh, you need to learn how to drive an auto trade and you have to be educated. So whatever company you want to purchase the auto trade from, if this guy don't know how to trade a paper bag, he just want to sell you an auto trade. He never been live anywhere showing his skill in the trading. How this guy is going to teach you to manage his own auto trade when he cannot read his own auto trade in conjunction with the market condition. So it is a lose-lose situation. An autopilot without education does not allow you to be a pilot. And, um, and, um, and this is a myth about auto trading that uh, some traders think is a magic. There is no magic in this. If the garbage man that won't pick up our garbage on Monday buy a couple thousand dollar auto trade, he's not going to show up on next Monday and pick up your garbage. The pizza man, if he can buy a two thousand dollar auto trade, he's not going to deliver pizza for you on next Saturday. That's not true. By buying an auto trade, you turn it on and you are going laughing all the way to the bank. No. And, uh, and this is what separate marketing from reality. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. Thank you very much, and uh, God bless you all. Bye for now. We'll see you tomorrow on the other channel. Bye for now.